What's up, welcome back to the channel. My name is Simon Servita, and today we're gonna talk about what bass to put under your melody. But before we get into it, this video is brought to you by Melodics. Melodics is a free desktop app that teaches you how to play the keys. If you're struggling to make things like bass lines, chord progressions, and melodies, then this app is perfect for you. It goes without saying that being able to play the keys is so helpful if you're a producer. Not only does it improve your workflow, it also opens up new opportunities like live performance and studio sessions. There are over 400 lessons on the app, so whether you're starting from zero or you're more advanced, there is something for everyone. And they just added this new feature called the Guide the path mode that teaches you all the basic fundamentals of playing the keyboard. This is a video of me playing one of the basic lessons. First thing I'm doing is learning the individual parts and once I get the hang of it, I learn the entire thing. This app has helped over 280,000 producers improve on the keys. If you want to get it, it's free to download. All you have to do is click the first link in the description. Let me give you a scenario, okay? Let me paint you a picture. Let's say your friend sends you a beat, okay? You play the beat. Super dope sample. You're just getting a feel for the groove right now. He's even adding ambience and shit. He's really setting the mood for you. You can even hear the drums just slowly coming from the background and you're thinking, oh my God, he's about to drop this hard as hell. And then, Now the bass is a very important part of the music because it takes up the majority of your bottom end. It gives you that really full sound. Okay, so let's say we have a beat right here. Before we put down a bass line, we have to know the key of the song first. It's gonna be the name of the note and either major or minor. Some people label the key in their sample, so this one is A sharp minor, this is D minor, this is B major. If you don't have it labeled, there are some plugins that give you the key to the song. So an example is, I think, Serato Sample does it. Yeah, so A flat, G sharp, that's the same thing. There's another one I have, auto key, this one works as well. A flat major, G sharp minor, same thing. By the way, these samples are from my 400K pack, completely free to download in the description. So let's take a really simple sample like this, simple sample. Once you find out the key of the song, now you have to figure out what chords are being played. Sometimes you're gonna get a really simple, repetitive melody line where the chords don't change at all. In this case, it's in the key of D minor, so it's probably just gonna stick to D minor. Okay, drums. Now we know that the chord being played throughout the whole song is this D minor here. So which of these three notes do we play? Your best bet is to play the root, which is the first note of the chord, which is the D in this case. So let's put this down really quickly. Boom, boom, boom. It doesn't mean you're not allowed to use the other two notes in the chord. These notes are really good for creating variation because you know, if this is our song and we just have this kind of going throughout the whole thing, it might get a little bit boring. It might be fun to use those other notes on weaker beats like this. That's good. And it's important to know on those really strong beats like the one and the three, it's probably best to just stick to the root note. You know, it sounds a bit weird if you kind of put it somewhere else. Let's say we're about to get into the drop, right? If it doesn't start on the root note, it just doesn't hit the same. Let me show you really quickly on the piano. Let's say we have our chord progression, F major, G major, C major, okay? On the last chord in the bass, I'm gonna do all the notes in the chord and you're gonna hear the difference in how they sound. If we do it on the G, Okay, if we do it on the E. And then here is the root note, which is the C. Do you hear that sense of conclusion in that? So whenever you really want your song to drop and hit really clean, you really wanna get that root note. That was an easy sample. So let's go to something with a chord progression. Right there. We're going to figure out the chord progression now, and I'm just really using my ear to figure out the root notes. So I really hear that root note on this G sharp here. And this is a really good example, actually. Just because we're in the key of G sharp minor doesn't mean we can just put the 808 there and call it a day. That doesn't sound good. We have to follow the chord progression. The first chord is a C sharp minor. The second chord is a D sharp major. So I'm just going to play the root notes. Just follow the kick drum like that. Bum. And once again, I can use those other chord tones on the weaker beats.
definitely don't want to overdo it, but it's something cool you can try. Let's make something really quick from scratch and I'll show you how I make the baseline for those. I'm feeling like drums first right now. One, two, three, four, this is it. This, and then this, and then now this, this, and then this. So since we have some MIDI for our chord progression, it's going to be really easy to find a bass note. Just like the other beats, we're going to focus on the root notes and expand later. I can see here we have an F sharp minor chord, so this F sharp at the bottom is our root note. By the way, just because the note is at the bottom doesn't make it the root note. This chord isn't a G sharp whatever, because this is actually an inversion of a C sharp minor chord. So this C is going to be the bass note. And you can definitely hear the difference if I put this G sharp. Or if I do the C sharp. This chord is a D major with a 6, so I'm going to have the D in the bass. And this last chord is a B minor 7, so I'm going to have this B in the bass. Um, it's definitely a more mellow beat, so I don't want to put too many 808s in this one. That sounds really nice with the third. Okay, let's just kind of finish this up. That's a nice patch. It's a really spacey patch, so I'm just gonna kind of play. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's sexy. It's kind of one big ass note right there. Ooh. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. My 400K loop kit is now available on my website. Um, they are free to download and they are royalty free and uh, they're kind of good. So make sure you guys go download it, make something fire. Yeah, that's about it and I'll see you guys soon. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. If you like this video, leave a like. If you really like this video, subscribe. If you didn't like this video, leave. Just leave. Get out of here.